happened here. All Love right. the hype up for Hero, and then she's like, hey, we're doing Lucario, because yeah. you know what? It's a good choice. Absolutely good choice. Because Lucina reacts a lot of damage really fast with her very fast um, fast jabs, her fast back, oh, her back air forward, all these like of her attacks. She's reacting so much damage. And the more damage that Vivi takes, the stronger he will get. That's Lucario's whole thing, survival of the fittest. <laughs> The question is whether he can actually survive to see that, mm -hmm. that the glow up, you know? Oh, and as we learned, okay, that's yep. not a full charged aura sphere, but that was new, uh, the forward air from Lucina, that sword just canceling out the projectile. That means that as an anti air option, it's not quite as valuable as it would be in other matchups. I agree. I mean, I believe it's just a sword, it's just a extension of the, of, the, of the character, so it's like. It's kind of like a bat. Just whack it away, and you won't get hit by it. But again, oh, it, imagine if it reflected the projectile. That'd be terrible. I would cry. That's like a built-in. Oh, but the shield just put that right in the air. However, back to this match, both play players at the same percentage, but pretty much basically in neutral. Vivi charging that aura sphere, waiting to use it at the right time, <laughs> likely off the ledge, just like that. But great, great a avoidance from it by stretch the good air uh, air dodge. Oh man, look at this right now, 107% on stretch. This is scary, but that's also a decent amount of rage for him to work with. Mm -hmm. He gets this right read, he was looking for that forward smash, but Vivi mixing up the angle and the timing just a little bit too much. And that's yep. enough to do it. That's such, a, that's such a tricky situation to be in when the Aura Sphere is being charged on you, because then he can just turn around and get that Force Palm and kill so, so early when it works. Absolutely, and you know we might actually see a very similar um, situation with Stretch, where he will kind of use the first round as a way to understand how a player like plays and their habits, and he might use those next two rounds to exploit that. However, Vivi is someone who refuses to let uh, let someone just be him, and he is not he like, once again angling his uh, his recovery in order to avoid Lucina. At the same time, that's an on-stage recovery. That's the second one he's gone for. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job there. Catching the air dodge. So in the end, it's not a ledge trap that gets the uh, first stock. Instead, it's just an effective juggle. So I wonder if maybe Stretch is going to start looking for more juggle opportunities as opposed to putting BB off stage. Yeah, because that would likely work way more. Lucario in the air is a little bit uh, easier to do with than Lucario off the ledge since he can recover so easily with with high rage. Basically from anywhere. <laughs> oh, that forward smash that would have killed if it had landed, but Stretch actually manages to turn it into a bit of an opening. But for the most part, yeah, Stretch is, he'll hit him once, but not really getting that much damage off of it. Ooh, that air dodge actually goes unpunished, but the down air is starting to come out. It's a tricky move. And uh, we see other players like Mr. E, for instance, really use great use of it. So. Now let's see what Stretch can do with uh, that kind of just approach in his arsenal. I believe Vivi does have to be careful. Oh, that was amazing. Amazing second stop taken uh, by Vivi, Vivi. However, I believe he does have to be a little bit more careful recovering because now Stretch will likely know he's going to recover on the stage instead of at the ledge. Yeah, I was going to mention that that up B from Lucina, which is fantastic. It's one of the best out of shield options in the game. Uh, if you whiff against a high damage Lucario, Kiss your soul goodbye, because there's no part of you that's going to be left at the end of it. Absolutely, and Vivi uh, really just let in, in the advantage at the moment. This is a slight advantage, because really he's at 137.4%. Second stock, Stretch can easily take it right back, just like he did previous times, previous times uh, as Zeno and in other map rounds. Oof. Looking, oh, looking very dire right now for. Uh, oh, ooh! ooh! I thought That's, that was it. I thought that was really it. Yeah. Had it and, connected. And the thing is that all of a sudden, because Stretch managed to take that stock, this is not nearly as bad for him. I mean, it's still, it's still rough. Uh, Ninety-six percent. He can die even to a like low or a Lucario. Mm -hmm. um, but at the very least, he can maybe play a little bit to his own rage. And uh, one solid combo could lead to a lot of damage and even maybe a kill setup. You know, forward smash at the ledge, we haven't really seen it, but it can kill absurdly early, even on a character like Lucario. And Lucar and uh, Vivi really doing his best to really avoid a lot of um, Lucina starters, such as Nair, Fair, and, all, and, um, and her down and her tilts. However, oof, oof, okay. <laughs> oh, that's okay. no jump. Okay. Um, okay, we're good, yeah. It's worth noting. Okay, actually, no, hold on a second. I don't want to say anything because those are the juggle situations that really cost. Oh, I'm s okay, he's low right now. He, he like, wasn't much, too much power involved, but that backer will simply take yeah, that yeah. last stock for Vivi, securing him this win for the round. Yeah, you know, 
it does feel like those platforms worked out a lot better for Vivi in that mm -hmm. game. A bunch of uh, opportunities came from him just like coming down from the platform with an aerial and just hitting stretch when he did not, you know, when it was really bad for him. Uh, so I wonder if maybe we'll try to go for a flatter stage this time around. Oh, it looks like, okay, we've already locked it in. It will, in fact, be small battlefield. Mm -hmm. So very similar to PS2, but being slightly smaller gives uh, Lucario less chance to run around and yep. charge Aura Sphere. So I can definitely agree with it. Uh, if this goes FD, is a stage that most players don't like to play on. And Stretch doesn't even like playing on FD either. I know both, like, they just don't. It, it, it would be disadvantageous for both of, both of them, simply because the stage is simply something that no one likes to play on. To a certain degree, however, I do think the fact that Stretch was getting a lot of damage yep. from juggles and things, FD is like the best stage in the game to juggle Oh, absolutely. On. But platforms, again, give players a little, bit, a little bit of breathing room in order to really plan out what they want to do next and use it to their advantage against their opponent. Just like Lucario had been doing to get Lucina in the air, using that platform uh, for him. Man, we're having a lot of neutral right now, but that I'm not sure exactly what that up B was trying to punish. BV manages to get some damage in, but this is like an awkward point in the game state where both of them are in the orange, but uh, you know neither one of them can kill. Oh, it, oh, you fool! You've done more damage you, to Lucario. You <laughs> now you could fool. die. Back yeah. at the ledge would kill him. Once that orange starts teetering on red, red orange. Or Lucar is dangerous and something you should really be careful on, on approaching. You, you can't approach him, you can't become very far away from him because Orzbe can easily hit you. Oh, if that back air doesn't land, that absolutely would have been the death stretch. But as it stands, he's able to hang in here, maybe even get a stock if he manages to complete this ledge trap. I love that. Rolled away, knowing that that force palm was a massive threat. Doesn't matter too much, though. VB takes out that first stock from stretch. However, again, anyone's game. Stretch could easy, stretch easily rack up a bunch of damage, take out CB stock, and put right back in neutral. But then again, a singular mistake right now against a high mm -hmm. damage Lucario is going to be a massive amount of percentage to the point where if it's enough damage, Vivi won't have to rely on Aura in order to kill him once you know his th first stock goes away. Mm -hmm. and that's a problem with, with Lucario with fighting against Lucarios and really being careful of what you what you decide to hit, uh, approach him, uh, how to approach them. If you get too close, you might get Force Bomb. Oh. You might get Aura Sphered. But VV, again, simply will not die. He will not let himself lose his grid. Oh, but he did. The timing. That was so brilliant right there from Stretch. Those up air, that's not a long-lasting move, but he was able to intercept the extreme speed. Really big pickup for Stretch. This is a point where, you know, very soon we'll most likely see both of them back in the orange, which was honestly kind of an even game. Lucario is so weird, man, where it's like a stock lead does matter, but it also kind of doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, once you get Lucario down to, like, I know another stock with low percent, it's like, okay. It's like, okay, we're back in, like, somewhat neutral. Because I'm at high percentage, you're at kind of a low power, so it's kind of doable. However, Stretch letting Vivi really back up a lot of points, which he has to, unfortunately. That's the, that's the thing with Lucario. You want to win, and to win, you have to rack up a lot of percentage. Yeah. And that's what Lucario is best at. That's a sweet spot. I would say that this is the kind of lead that Vivi is now terrifying in. Mm -hmm. He's at 97. He could still take one or f a few more hits, but if he manages to get one on stretch, then all of a sudden stretch is at death percent. He's looking for it, trapping him in the corner. Mm -hmm. Big damage just from that neutral air alone. Oh, oh, I feel like that was an opportunity. Maybe even drop shield and forward smash. There probably was enough time to, but you know, maybe he's a little bit nervous. There comes the forward smash. It gets punished, and he's at 78 trapped at the ledge. Oh, he is so dead if he gets hit by like a back air or half a Lucario's move set. Oof. Maybe he's really trying to use a uh, force on or or to really end up the stock. Oh, but Stretch was able to reverse and just completely punish him. All right, once again, if you are stretched, this is not the worst position in the world to be in. You have a lot of rage. We haven't really seen that many early stocks from Stretch. But if he manages to find one, you know, one clean forward smash near the ledge can drop Vivi to the, like, before he ever really becomes a threat. I completely agree. Right here, we have Vivi playing a little bit more safe. He's not really approaching as much, which doesn't have to. He's in somewhat advantage and doesn't have to approach as often as Stretch does in order to really lock out, his, uh, lock in his win. But Vivi with the back, once again, the back air. I wanted to say that 
Strax is doing a ton of empty hops. Mm -hmm. Or like he would do these full hops or short hops without throwing out a move because he wants to do those late aerials. That's how that's how Lucina is so safe on shield. But just anticipating that finally, he'd been doing all of these hops. You know, here he just repositioned. And yeah, he went for this yep. big jump and that got absolutely clobbered by that back air. Wow, that was great. I was really expecting Stretch to, um, to really take it back into the game, game, game two make it, and get us to game three. However, Vivi just yeah. basically said, ah, you're funny. <laughs> <laughs>